All right. So on the last one, sorry about that. I cut off and didn't tell you I was cutting off, but I wanted to, I decided I was going to make a video for kind of each one. And so on this particular one, let's take a look at when we're looking at from negative infinity to negative Z. And so if you review and go back to the conversation we started with on the last video is that on our normal distribution, we have negative z scores on this side, positive z scores on this side, and going down the middle is a z score of zero, which is also known as your mean. Remember that symbol means your mean or your average. And so z score is just think about it as standard deviations, like how many standard deviations I am away I am away from the mean. So if you are, um, if your score is greater than the mean, then you have a positive standard deviation or a positive z-score. If you are, if your data value is less than the mean, then you have a negative z-score or a negative standard deviation. And so you're just, that negative and positive just tells you whether or not your relationship with the mean is above or below and how many standard deviations you are. And so when we jump into this and we click, go to this, looking at it from the normal side, what we have to remember is, is that the normal distribution is symmetrical. So if this problem is actually asking for the area to the right, and they tell us that the area we're looking for is 0 0.01, then because it's symmetrical, we can just flip it around and look at it from this side and say 0 0.01. So what this is, is this is not, you have to do this problem three different ways. This is just saying you can do this problem either as an area to the right or an area to the left, depending on which, which form of the normal distribution table that you use. And so in this case, using the negative to the negative, so you're saying from negative to this guy right here, at standard or excuse me, to your whatever your standard z-score is, so not necessarily the mean, but like they're saying from, in this case, like we interpret this as we're just going from negative infinity to 0 0.01. And so we have to find the z-score that goes with that. So we go to our distribution table and we're looking for 0 0.01. So right here, we're at 0, 0. That's not enough yet. Right here we're at 0 0.08. Okay, that's getting closer. So let's scroll across right here. So 0 0.008, 0 0.009, 0 0.009, 0 .009. there it is right there. So now we have to make the determination whether we're going to use the 0 0.099 or the 1.01. I'm sorry, my bad. Um, yeah, so either going to be a little bit higher or a little bit lower. And so once again, we're going to have to go a little bit lower because we don't want to overestimate. So then we'll go with this guy right here. And so we'll come out and we'll say, OK, let's take a look at what would be the Z score in that particular case. So where do we go? Um, there it is right there. So this is our guy. So we come across and we go up. And we find out that in this particular case, our z square would be negative 2.33. And so that would be if we're using this idea of symmetry. So we're actually looking for this z square right here. So what is the z score of this location right here? And so we just found out based on our calculations so we can understand is that our z score is 2.33 because what we calculated was the area of this guy. And this guy's z-score right here is negative 2.33. But remember, the, the normal distribution is symmetrical. So if you have a z-score or an area of 0 0.01 on the left, then that area on the right will be exactly the same. So we can just transfer that negative over to a positive. All right, so I'm going to cut this one off, and then I'll run through and do one using the other table. And you can make a determination as to which one you prefer to use.